But Gold Star Mothers is a group that strives to carry on their child's legacy by serving others. Our Pete Gallivan talked with three mothers trying to shed light out of the worst nightmare. It was Christmas time. These three mothers have a common bond. Uh, my son, Robert, uh, Bob, he uh, went to college at Brockport and went ROTC. When he went in, it was a surprise, it was a shock. He came home one day and said, Mom, I joined the Army. Their sons chose to serve their countries. Patty Badger's son, Robert, joined the Army's 1st Armored Division. Ann Davis's son, Nathaniel Jones Jr., went into the Navy. And as you just heard, Sandy Craig's son, Travis, went into the Army. Again, I never worried. I never, never, never worried. They remembered the contact they had. Ann Davis discussing with her son when he should come home for leave. So he said, Ma, when should I come home? So I said, come home for Mother's Day. And Patty remembers the relief she felt when she heard Robert was being reassigned from a combat zone to Germany. That he called my husband so excited that his people has said, I brought my platoon home, the whole platoon dad. He was very proud of that. And Sandy recalls Travis coming home on leave just in time for the October surprise storm and the Sabres games he was able to take in. And they also remember the very moment when they all became part of a club a club that nobody wants to join. I went back to Iraq after his leave, and he was killed five weeks later. Patty, Ann, and Sandy are all members of the Buffalo chapter of the Gold Star Mothers. Five guys were, all five guys in the vehicle were, were killed. He was uh, on a train, and he got arced by electric lines while he was on his tank. So he was burned on 70% of his body. 47 sailors was killed. And a turn explosion. Gold Star Mothers is a support group for women who have lost a child in the military. We are sad. We miss them every day. But I've got some great friends who are always there for me. But it's also an organization that turns that sadness to service, the grief to activism. And that's a lot of our work is partnerships because we're such a small group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we really Thank getting, God. We're Thank older. God we're a small <laughs> group. A small group that thrives on camaraderie and compassion, and one thought that draws them together, that their profound loss was not in vain, that by serving and supporting veterans groups, they preserve their loved one's legacy. We know what our mission is once we lost that child. It was to serve. We know that. Yeah. It's to serve. She serves. She serves. I serve. We serve. That's the only thing we can do. Pete Gallivan reporting there. Thank you, Peter. If you want to help out their mission, they are holding a special day of music. It's on April 19th. It's going to be at the Sportsman's Tavern Music Complex. We have more information on that for you on WGRZ.com.